I could prove all men are priests. That's what this proves. It doesn't prove all priests are men. Right. But again, monkey brain doesn't keep track of that. It can actually reflect and see that. Wait a minute, I'm being asked to accept something that, that maybe seems intuitively plausible. One of the roles of philosophy in your life, in logic and other areas, in your intellectual life, is to correct your sort of monkey brain intuitions, where you just find yourself sort of nodding along. So yeah, that, that, that sounds good, right? There are a lot of in, in ways your intuition, untrained intuition, leads you wrong, like an untrained conscience. It leads you wrong. Philosophy and the systematic study of reason and rational principles is going to help you to correct that. So by the time you're 10 or 20 years down the road, you don't make obvious mistakes in philosophical anthropology when talking to a class of teenagers. Your souls as a result. You guys, the yeah. effects of philosophy are profound, but also maybe very subtle. And I think some of the crisis we see now, without going too far into detail, results from very poor philosophy education several decades ago. That's why I'm hopeful for the future of the church. Not, not from my own efforts, but because I think philosophy education is fixed to a large degree, seminary education is fixed uh, uh, to a large degree in the past 15 years. Any questions?